Southern Africa, I mean, we've heard that phrase so many times today. The breadbasket of Southern Africa all of a sudden becoming as um, uh, uh, a prominent Southern African uh, put it, the basket, uh, the, the basket case rather, of, uh, of South Africa. Southern Africa. You know, so he attributed these problems to the, um, to, to the sanctions against him, but I, I, many people just felt, well, you just looking for someone else to blame apart from yourself. I want to also bring in Pumza Fulani, who um, is our BBC correspondent in Johannesburg, and of course you do come in as well. Um, Pumza, what is the reaction as you speak to people uh, in, in Johannesburg in South Africa? There is an subdued reaction here in South Africa, not least because uh, the former president is already out of power for about two years. Um, at the time of his death, but uh, they got five million, and that's considered a modest estimate. Zimbabweans will have to flee Zimbabwe um, at the height of the economic crisis in 2008 and seek refuge in South Africa. Many of them work in the hospitality industry as domestic workers, some of them. So it's a mixed reaction. Some people feel, these are educated people, um, feel that he is at the heart of why they've had to leave their country as well and take jobs that aren't favorable, take jobs that they would otherwise not have been forced to take. These are professors, these are people that were nurses in South and Zimbabwe that now work as domestic workers and some of them as gardeners. So there is a sense of celebration that this is um, the end of an era, but also mixed views in terms, terms of his continued legacy and how he should be remembered. Now his life should be marked. We've been sent some WhatsApp messages uh, from people in South Africa as well. Have a listen to some of those. This is from South Africa.